Oh, my injury, it stinks so bad. It's why I can't lose weight. So frustrated. Let's face it, injuries suck, but so often they aren't what actually is holding us back from seeing the weight loss we'd like. Often it's really a case of the more you do, the more you do. And that can be in both a positive and a negative direction. And so often when we get injured, we start doing a whole bunch more of less. Our training habits change and so does our diet. And while we often can't overcome the injury or change the situation we're currently in, we can always control our perspective. We can see our injury as an obstacle or as an opportunity. So how can we change our perspective and start seeing our injuries as an opportunity instead of an obstacle? The first question I like to ask myself is, what new things can I actually explore? What new challenges can I take on? Because we've got to shift our focus if we're injured to finding new ways to really pursue the healthy lifestyle habits that we need to keep in place. Can you try a new recipe to keep your nutrition in interesting and fun while also making sure you're doing what you need to do to see weight loss results. Can you try a new hobby? Are there new workouts that you can actually experience and take on? Could you spend more time being active with your family? What are new opportunities that you could explore to keep implementing those healthy habits? Because again, the more you do, the more you do, and we want to keep the momentum going in a positive direction. How can you even see this as an opportunity to dial in your rest and recovery or learn more about your body movements and your injuries so that you can come back stronger? Because this really is a chance to take things back back to basics and rebuild in a way that we can't come back stronger than we actually were before our injury. But no matter what changes we actually seek to make, we've got to realize it boils down to our mindset and we've got to focus on controlling what we can control because you aren't going to be able to change the injury in this moment, but you can control the other lifestyle habits that you're implementing. And as much as we don't like to admit it, as much as we want to reach for that ice cream out of comfort, we've got to realize that one of the things we can always control when we're out with injury is our fueling. And while yes, training is so important to seeing results, if we wanna build that lean muscle, we do need to train to force our muscles to adapt and grow stronger. And training makes it so much easier to lose fat because we are burning calories in the gym and we are building that lean muscle mass. But that doesn't mean we're doomed. There's so much we can do from the nutritional side that can really help us see results faster. And honestly, when it comes to fat loss, you could not train at all and still see amazing results, all by just adjusting your macros and your calories. Being injured is often just what we blame for not seeing the results we'd like when we know we're in control of how we're eating. Now, I know no one wants to do this, but it's really key at these points that we actually track how we're fueling to see results. Tracking gives us that security that we're doing what we need to move forward even while we can't train the way we'd like. It also helps us get an accurate picture of how we're actually fueling and make accurate adjustments. Because it's really easy when you're not training the way you used to, to want to cut your calories too low. And that can sabotage your results. So by tracking, you can make sure you're eating enough to still fuel and retain that lean muscle. Because yes, we're not necessarily expending as many calories because we're not training the way we were, but cutting our calories too low can actually lead to us losing muscle mass because muscle is metabolically costly. It takes more calories to retain and build that lean muscle mass. So even if your activity level has changed, don't go to slashing your calories super low to start. Eating too little can even impair your recovery process. And on top of not slashing your calories lower, you do want to focus on increasing your protein intake. While there is no magic pill, if you want to make sure that you're retaining as much lean muscle mass as possible while being out with injury, you need to make sure that you're dialing in your protein. Protein really is this essential building block, and it's not only key to retaining lean muscle mass so that you can come back stronger from your injury, but it can actually help improve your recovery time. Insufficient protein can actually slow down your recovery process. One way I like to bump amino acid intake for clients is actually by having them take BCAAs while they're out with injury. I know a lot of times we think about increasing our protein intake when we're training intensely, but it can be just as key when we're actually not training. BCAAs can actually be key to include as well because they can increase your fat burning and fat loss due to the fact that they help you build and retain lean muscle. Not to mention isoleucine and leucine help improve glucose tolerance and increase your energy expenditure. And that helps with fat oxidation. This is especially key when we do have injuries because our insulin sensitivity has been decreased due to a reduction in exercise. While you always wanna consume as many whole natural foods as possible, especially when you're injured, to increase your vitamin and mineral intake, I do like to use supplements to complement. It's why I do recommend BCAAs BCAAs and also collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body and is used to make connective tissues. Type 1 and 3 collagen are for both skin health and also help with sagginess, wrinkles, and wound healing. Type 2 collagen is for joint health and may help relieve joint pain, swelling, and stiffness. It's why I like to make sure that I get all three if I'm really trying to recover faster from injury. And I like to take collagen with vitamin C. Taking collagen with vitamin C can be helpful as vitamin C boosts natural production of collagen. Plus, vitamin C itself helps with tissue repair and growth. 
growth. Even just five to 15 grams of collagen with 50 milligrams of vitamin C can be a great bonus. And then make sure you're drinking enough water. Staying hydrated is so key for not only fat loss, but making sure you're not eating out of boredom and you're also getting in quality sleep. Now, before you think, okay, Corey, yes, fine, I'll track, I'll add in some BCAAs, I'll focus on protein, and then you head back to the couch to do nothing, don't think that just by focusing on your fueling that you can ignore your training. Even when we're injured, there's so much we can often do to keep moving and stay active. Now, this doesn't mean to go push through the pain. You never want to make an injury worse by just saying no pain, no gain. You actually want to think about how can you train around the injury and still stay active. Something is always better than nothing. And even if it's not your ideal form of training, by getting moving, you're going to help yourself burn more calories to help improve those fat loss results and keep yourself active because it is a case that the more you do, the more you do. By staying active, you're going to want to feel better. You're going to sleep better. All the different things and lifestyle habits that you want to keep in place are going to be there. It's sometimes even just about doing the minimum. Consider just going for a long walk, or maybe you start with only body weight training, or maybe you do more of the mobility work that you usually skip. But by doing something, we keep in the habit and routine of training to help ourselves do more of the healthy habits we need. Often even really modifying movements and doing lower weights or easier variations than we would normally do is enough to maintain the lean muscle mass we already have on. And it can also help us come back more quickly after we recover from our injury. And then there are so many creative ways that we can train around the aches and pains. If you have an ankle injury and you can't put weight on the foot, think about kneeling squats. Maybe you can't do your usual running for cardio. Maybe instead you try battle ropes and you even stay seated as you do the movements. Maybe you have a shoulder injury that only allows you to do lower body workouts or a lower body injury that only allows you to do upper body workouts. There's always a way to keep moving and train around the pain. But see this as an opportunity to have some fun with your training and even explore different modalities that you wouldn't normally do. Sometimes if we even step back and take our ego out of it, we can modify some of the movements we love to include. Maybe usually you do push-ups off the ground, but with your shoulder injury, you can modify off a bench to properly control the range of motion and not have the pain. So don't just think you have to only avoid movements if you do have an injury. While we don't want to push through the pain, there's so much we can do to modify and work around. Even see this as an opportunity to take things back to basics and address the mobility work you wouldn't normally do. And as weird as this sounds, you might even be able to still build lean muscle by training a different muscle group than the one that's injured. Studies have even shown that training one limb can improve strength gains in the untrained limb. So while we don't want to go crazy just working one arm and not the other, we can still see strength gains by working the uninjured side. And then as you come back, rebuild slowly. You want to focus on meeting yourself where you're at. I know it's tempting to jump back in and say, well, I'm doing less than I was doing before, but sometimes you really have to regress even further than you'd like. Think about this time as the time to rebuild your foundation even stronger, even addressing mobility restrictions not near your injured area. It's key when we're returning from injury that we really focus on meeting ourselves where we're at. So as tempting as it is to say, I'm injured, I can't do anything, I'm doomed to gain weight, see this time as an opportunity to build other healthy habits, to explore new new different hobbies, and even dial in your nutrition in a way that is sustainable. And then focus on even using this time to improve your mobility and your foundation overall. If you are looking for that full prehab process to address different aches and pains, I'm going to link to a few different videos in the video description. If you like the video, make sure to like it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe. We're posting new videos each week.